today for all of you Bivio users who use that as your accounting for your investment club we're gonna go ahead and show you how to start entering and inputting all of that information into the program let's get started all right now sometimes with your broker you may have some fees that you may incur so I'll show you how to add that in Bivio. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to go to the account page. And then we're going to look for the expense button. All right. Once you select your account, go ahead and put the transaction date. And the amount. And then here, you're going to select what kind of expense this was. So you can see that there's a list here. There's account, um, there's charitable, there's education. Um, sometimes you'll have a margin interest. Um, sometimes uh, they can be non-deductibles, whether you took money out for for things like that for the group itself um, but this one we are going to just leave it as a portfolio expense and um, here you can allocate per partnership except exemptions we're not going to do that and in here we're just going to put it is a money movement from the broker and it was a regulatory fee adjustment and so it's saying that it cannot be zero but it's basically one cent so there we go. And that is how you add expenses. All right, let's show how to add qualified dividends to your investment. All right, so let's head over to the investment tab. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the income button. And we're going to go ahead and enter in our symbol. And then we are going to go ahead and put the date in that the qualified dividend was sent. Make sure you have your account listed. And then here you're going to go under distribu distribution amounts. And we're going to go ahead and look for qualified dividend. Now you can see that there are different types of dividends in here. So make sure that when you're looking at your brokerage forms, when you're doing your taxes, please make sure you know what kind of dividend you are receiving. Here we're going to go ahead and put the dividend in. This is the most important part. You need to make sure you know the X dividend date. And if you do not, Vivio makes it really easy for you to hit the lookup button and the expert dividend date will come up. Simple, quick, and easy. All right, now I'm going to show you how to enter in when your stock has split. This is going to be um, two different... Um, transactions but we're gonna walk through the first portion of this first so here you're gonna make sure you hit investments tab and then you're gonna come down to the split button and we are going to put in the ticker symbol and we know it's EXPI for EXP Realty we are going to go ahead and put the transaction date on here. 
the ratio. Now, if you don't know what the ratio is, just doing a quick, simple search. So all I did was just kind of quickly search real quick for that information. As you can see, it was a two for one split stock. So you go here two for one. Now, if there was any cash in lieu for, for, from the fractional shares, which there were not, um, you don't have to go ahead and do that. So um, go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see that the uh, this was 20 shares and now it shows 40 shares. So um, you don't have to do that. Now, sometimes, and I'm gonna bring the worksheet out here, you're going to notice that your brokerage has put two transactions on here. So you'll see when it was delivered, so when they sold the 20 shares, and then you received the 40 shares. Sometimes some accounting offers you'll have to make sure that those transactions are put in the correct way. Um, but Bivio does a great job. You don't really have to do that. Those are going to be shown on the transaction because you already specified what the split was. All right. In this part, we're going to show how to add your long and short positions of options through Bivio. So um, right now we're currently working with DraftKings. So um, you're not going to be able to see my spreadsheet that I have, but uh, you can follow along. So the next one is um, a sold call. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to sell short and then we're going to go ahead and type in the symbol for DraftKings and then we're going to go ahead and hit the call put option. Now I am filming this obviously for the tax season of uh, I'm in the new year, but this is for the tax season of 2021. So you have to make sure that you're going ahead and changing this. And this may take a while. It's going to search up and look at all the symbols and strike prices um, from 2021. All right. So now that that has pulled up, what we're going to be looking for is the 54 call um in november so we're in december still and here we go so just kind of if you guys didn't see it from the beginning this is the call side and this is the put side so we are looking for the 54 call and uh, that's what we're going to sell. And sometimes you can verify um, your brokerage will give you the actual uh, symbol. Um, so you'll see it's DK and G and it should be uh, 21, 11 and uh, this should be doop -doop -doop -doo, 4, um let's just verify ah here we go all right so uh, this is the one we're looking for 21 11 19 c005 4000 it's the 54 uh strike november 21 All right, <clears throat> now that you have that, it changes your ticker symbol. Now, if, again, your broker, when you when you get your, your worksheets or whatnot, they should have this ticker. You don't necessarily have to always put in the call option. You can just copy and paste it and then throw it in there. It'll make your life a little bit simpler. 
Um, we're going to have to go ahead and change this because this was executed on 10 20 21. Uh, this is your account. Your account number should show up here. Remember that it's a multiplier of 100 shares. I know that in some brokerage softwares, it's going to show you as a one lot or a two lot. So if it's a one lot, you're putting 100 shares. If it's a two lot, you're putting 200 and so on. All right, that price was $1.30. So uh, comparing it with the worksheet, you should have 130 bucks. Um, that was a price uh, that you paid for. And you can leave notes in here if you want. But once that goes through, hit OK. And now this is going to show up in your short portfolio. All right, let's do the example um, for this in uh, for the buy. So we're going to go ahead and hit buy and cover short. And like I said, to make life easy, we are going to go ahead and copy and we just got to take the space out all right also executed on the same day make sure it's your account all right so we know it's 100 shares that price was $1.09 And I did forget to put the uh, commission on there. And so we'll go ahead and correct those real quick and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so to go back and correct um, the mistake you did, you can go ahead and just click on there. And then there's an action button here that says edit and we can enter in the commission and then once that's all done then we go back to investment and then we'll go back and we'll just keep editing the ones we forgot to put the commission rate on all right now that was just showing you how to add all of the buys that you've had for your options or your sold cover, depending on what kind of strategies you're putting. They do have to go in individually through BVO. There are other softwares that will do it automatically for you. All you have to do is upload them and they'll put those transactions through. But with BVO, there's not really a upload um, <clears throat> that would be a nice feature for this, but for right now, we just have to kind of enter everything in manually. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do the closings of these trades. So, um, this one is a sold. And that didn't have a commission because the brokerage that I'm with has zero fees to close commissions. Now, if you notice, it is actually gone from um, on the on the buys. So this obviously the top part is everything you've purchased. The bottom part is your short portfolio. So anything short will be listed down here. All right. And we're going to go ahead and take care of the buy. And it seems a little repetitive, but once you get used to it, 
you will breeze kind of pass through this. So and they basically disappear. So this is basically closing out this strategy. And so that is basically how you take care of putting in your option orders through Bivio.